What's up, YouTube? This is 82 So, I just want to give everyone uh, a huge thank you and show all my gratitude for supporting the channel and helping it to grow. I know my channel is new. I'm starting out. It doesn't have all the biggest equipment. You know, I don't have a the best microphones i don't have the best editing i don't have the best computers but you guys continuously support me and you guys frequently message me uh, in my social media and twitter my email my facebook i just want to give every one of my supporters a shout out thank you for helping the channel grow and it's not about me, okay? This isn't about who I am. It's about the community because this channel is to help spread basketball history. And I think the 82 and 0 channel, we're kind of just a community that just likes to get together and relive the past players, you know, like... We talk Zomo Beatty, we talk Willis Reed, we talk Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell. So I just wanted to share with everybody, I'm working to get this channel more up to date. Um, I got all my social media links from now on in the description. If anyone wants to send me a request on a, a topic they want me to cover, or maybe they want to... Just talk basketball with me. That's fine, too. I'm all game. Uh, but also, a message I want to give you guys is I'm looking down the road. I know I've mentioned this quite a few times on other videos. I'm looking down the road to possibly doing interviews with past players. And I guess I'm reaching out because... I want to learn how to do this. So if anyone knows, because I don't know if these sites are credible. I see a lot of websites where it, it shows that they can connect you with basketball players, agents. Like I've, uh, I've seen players on there like Bob Cousy, Bill Russell before he passed. Like I see their picture on there. But I guess the question I have for any of my viewers what is the best way to reach out to players of the past for interviews? And I'm hoping as this channel grows and I start making money off of it, I can use that money to get better equipment, you know, cameras, maybe better microphones. But I want this to be a channel where I can sit, sit down and do maybe hour-long interviews with Bob Cousy, Bob Pettit, whoever. But at the same time, I want to be able to take fan-requested questions. Like, let's say someone donates a dollar or whatever. They can ask a question that I'll ask a player. So that's where I'm at with that. Let me know your thoughts on that. But also... I want to get to the point where, and I see other YouTubers do this, where they have a YouTube channel where they go live uh, like two nights a week, I want to say. I don't want to give names, but I've seen channels where they do this and they cover other topics. Or they just, you know, cover the news or whatever, sit down with their fans, talk to them. You know, what would it take, and, and you know, for everybody who watches my channel, I'd like you to reach out to me on this. Comment down below, whatever you got to do. Like, my question is, when is a good time slot to meet once a week, to have a live show where I cover all the NBA news give my two cents, but also maybe cover basketball news in general, and then 
you know, we just talk basketball. Have a good time. What do you think is a good time? A Friday night? A Monday night? Let me know your thoughts down below. And thanks again, everybody, for watching the channel and helping it grow. You know, I can't thank you guys enough. So, peace.